Welcome to my channel, I'm Crystal, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I'm all about living a healthy lifestyle as a Christian mom. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over what ingredients breast implants are made of, common BII symptoms, what breast implant illness is, and my story about getting breast implants, some of my first breast implant illness symptoms right after surgery, some of my frequent breast implant illness symptoms that I experience daily or regularly, and some of my more infrequent breast implant illness symptoms. I'm gonna be sharing one of the biggest mistakes that I made when I thought I was living a healthy life. I made this mistake when I was well into my fitness journey and just like so many other like-minded healthy women and other fitness competitors out there, I thought that getting breast implants was a good idea and that was without doing any research or putting any thought into it really. Everything I'm sharing in today's video, any woman who is considering getting breast implants or who already has breast implants but is unaware of the risks deserves to know. So I'm getting my breast implants removed in less than 11 days and I'm documenting this entire journey to spread awareness. I wanna help any woman I can from making the mistake that I made over six years ago. Okay, so before I share my story about breast implant illness, I wanna share the hard facts about breast implants. So these are the toxic ingredients that breast implants contain and these are both silicone or saline. The shell is all made of silicone, whether you get saline or silicone implants. So they're all comprised of these toxic carcinogenic and heavy metal ingredients. And here are the common breast implant illness symptoms. Okay, so what is breast implant illness? Breast implant illness is a response to the inflammation and toxicity from breast implants. Also, the occurrence of new autoimmune diseases with or without a family history or pre-existing autoimmune disorders, new allergies, food intolerances, or chemical sensitivity. Breast implants stimulate a chronic foreign body inflammatory response, and they have a slow leakage of silicone, heavy metals, and chemicals, termed as a gel bleed. Implants are made out of a concoction of neurotoxic, carcinogenic chemicals and heavy metals that slowly break down and accumulate in the body. Now for my story. I want to preface by saying that I've lived a healthy lifestyle for many years leading up to getting breast implants, and I've only become more health conscious since I've had them. I'm very conscious of the things that I put into my body, including food and different beauty products, and also the things that I use in my home. I try to live as toxic free as possible, and I've always taken pride in my health and fitness, and I never thought that I'd be sharing to the world about my poor health. This isn't something that I'm proud of, but it's something that I just feel like I need to share. And I have a very high pain tolerance. I gave birth naturally at home, unmedicated, and it was a 23 hour labor. I actually have a video on my channel about that. If you wanna watch it, I'll link it. I say this because I'm not someone that can't handle pain well. Before I got implants, I lived an extremely healthy lifestyle and I was working out five to six days a week. I had tons of energy, I had mental clarity, I felt great. And my husband and I, we were actually known as that, you know, healthy fit couple. Before I had my implants, I had zero health issues or concerns or complaints. So my breast implant symptoms started happening a week after getting breast implants. At the time, I didn't know that it was related to them. I didn't even think about that. It took me three years to figure out about breast implant illness, and that was finally my wake up call. Okay, so for my symptoms, I'm gonna go over how my symptoms started and then my frequent symptoms that I experience like on a daily and then symptoms that happen more like in flares. Okay, so my first symptom was about a week after surgery. I began to become allergic to oatmeal and this is something that I used to eat almost every morning for breakfast and never had any issues with it. And my throat began closing up. It was hard for me to breathe. And again, I didn't think it had anything to do with the implants. Next symptom was I started getting random muscle spasms throughout my body. The next symptom was extreme fatigue to where I thought that I had low iron and I got tested multiple times and my iron levels were just fine, but I was so fatigued. All I wanted to do was just sit on the couch and that was so unlike me. Shortly after that, I started getting tinnitus, which is like a ringing in the ear. It started low frequencies or low sound. It's only become worse. And then something really random kind of started happening, which was like a fizzy, bubbly feeling in my head. It would just like kind of come up here. It felt like, like if you would see a champagne glass with the little bubbles, that's what it feels like is going on in my head. I then started having gastrointestinal issues and sensitivities to foods like gluten and dairy. The 
the gluten gave me this like closed choked throat feeling it felt like someone was like choking my throat on the inside so these food sensitivities cause things like bloating stabbing sensations in my stomach joint pain and anxiety so from here the symptoms began to pile up so now i'm going to share my frequent and daily symptoms and some of these are a little embarrassing but i just want to spread awareness so here you go and intense periods and that's the bleeding is intense like there's more bleeding and also a rise in PMS symptoms as far as like things like heart palpitations anxiety and extreme fatigue insomnia headaches migraine headaches never had these kind of symptoms before I never feel rested so I can get eight nine ten hours of like deep sleep if I don't have insomnia of course and I just don't feel rested when I wake up my body still hurts I still feel old I still feel like I'm slowly deteriorating. And this was before becoming a mom too. The only time I felt any relief from my symptoms was when I was pregnant. In my second, third trimester of pregnancy, my hormone levels were through the roof. It actually took away all my BII symptoms, which was amazing. But the moment I had my daughter, they all came back. And lastly, I got shingles two years ago, which is a very young age to get shingles. I got shingles and I got them on the right side, which this is a side um, I have concern about with my breast implant. We'll find out really soon if anything is going on there but my friend who also had breast implants had them removed in 2020 and has been healing greatly ever since when she still had her breast implants in and was having bii symptoms she got shingles as well at a very young age the side of her body that she got the shingles on was the same side that she had an intense capsular contracture and to give an idea of the brain fog and the cognitive dysfunction i experience now the best way i can put it is Years before I got breast implants, I was a personal trainer, I was a beautician, so I did hair and aesthetics. For both of those certifications, you go through some pretty extensive studying and testing. If I had to do those tests now, I don't think I'd have the mental capacity, the mental clarity, and the focus to be able to do it. I've always been really good at memorizing things. You just give me a bunch of flashcards. I look over them a few times and I can memorize things. I had a photographic memory and now, those things are gone. I can't even remember extra things that I bought at the grocery store and sometimes I'll go buy more not knowing that I did and this was never like me. I used to know every little thing that was in my cupboards, where it was, you know, all of the details. And I know that a lot of these symptoms are random symptoms and they don't really make sense. They don't make sense to me either. But I do know after connecting with so many women, hundreds of thousands of women in these breast implant illness groups, who are all experiencing such similar symptoms that we all have a relation and there has been so much healing in these groups after the breast implants have been removed. Are all of my symptoms from breast implants? I don't know, but I do know that my health has been seriously impacted since I got them and I'm not the same person anymore. And I know how toxic they are. And with that information alone, that is enough information for me to get them removed. It doesn't align with my lifestyle. It doesn't align with my values. So why would I have them in? And if I heal after having my breast implants removed, that will be the icing on top. I truly believe in my heart that there will be healing to some degree. I really hope that this video was helpful and if you have any questions at all, please reach out and watch out for my next video on this topic so you can see how my surgery went and how my healing's going.